My name is Peter Kuria. I was born in Kenya, east side of Africa, in a small village called Solai. My family originally is from central Kenya. They migrated to the Rift Valley and that's where I was now born. Nakuru is the city and Solai is the village. So I moved to the United States one year after college to further my career and it was a good choice because my wife was already living here in the US. My first impression of Orlando was diversity. The first place we visited was Fun Spot and when I went there there was people all colors and talking different languages which felt made me feel like I belonged. Having so many uh, Kenyans here gives me that sense of home as well. When I came to the US I wasn't identified by my tribe, I was identified by the continent and then other people would narrow it down a little bit to now the country. So I kind of lost the tribe identity in this country but I also have an identity as an African and a Kenyan. I still feel connected to my Kenyan tribe and I keep it alive every year. When we have Kenyan events, they are usually very authentic Kenyan events. One big difference between US and Kenya and the cultures is we don't have fast food. We cook our foods and it's one way of bringing people at the table together every evening. So we really adore our cooking and our cooking culture and that's something that we have retained since we've, uh, we've been here in the, in the US. Central Florida has very good infrastructure for biking and outdoor activities and one of the things that I have picked up is bike riding and I also love soccer. Growing up I played soccer and my favorite team is Manchester United. So after I Accepting Orlando as home, I started a business called Solai Coffee and all we do is cultivate coffee and cultivate communities here in Central Florida. My first cup of coffee in the morning actually transports me directly home and knowing that it's my parents who are farming it and I'm drinking it thousands of miles away, it's a way of, you know, connecting me back home. The people have a lot of passion and a lot of joy when they are farming, which adds a very big element when it comes to the experience, because you know there is a person and a place behind it. So this is Rido Conduit, and we roast our coffees here. The beans came all the way from Kenya, through the sea to New York, and then uh, to Orlando. Nathan and Credo Coffee were one of our first farm direct partners. My name's Nate and I'm the owner of Downtown Credo. We have historically done 100% direct trade uh, with all of our coffees. Uh, Peter's the only one that lives here in Central Florida. Honestly, it's been phenomenal having Peter uh, here, being able to drop coffee off at the warehouse at any time. He calls me just as often as I do him. We've had some really great conversations and uh, yeah, it's been really great just uh, working alongside him for this time. Nate and I work together uh, to bring the best experience out of the different uh, beans that uh, we import from Kenya. We are getting closer to the end of the journey because after this, there is the barista or the person who is going to be brewing the coffee. So we are making a pour over with the Kenyan pea berry, a rare bean that transports you all the way to the highlands of Kenya. It takes a farmer almost a whole year for them to harvest coffee, but it takes them every day to cultivate it. You know? Traditional way of making coffee just gives it that different taste, which is now what we quit to an experience versus just drinking coffee for the caffeine. So let's try it. Karibu Kahawa and welcome to our community. The first place we went to was uh, uh, Fun City. Is it? Oh, Fun World. The Fun Spot. Okay. The first place we visited was Fun World. And fun Spot. Fun Spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more.